I call this exercise the skater kickback. So we're gonna get a band anchored low onto a rack or in a door. Um, we're gonna, the setup here is we're gonna take this and you're gonna point your toe like that and get the band in your arch. Usually this is better if you're wearing a shoe because that's gonna hold the band. So toe there, band on the arch. Now normally I would come directly 90 degrees from the rack. I'm gonna come in at about 45 here. Depends if you're pulling the same way, but just so you can see what's going on, okay? So I'm gonna stand on one leg, athletic stance on that leg, balance, and then I'm gonna kick back and across, trying to use my glute to do that, okay? Kicking back and across. Back and across. I'll show the other side. So I get this on my arch there. I'm gonna balance on the stabilizing leg. When I'm doing that, I don't want this knee to drop in. I want the center of the knee over the third and fourth toes, hips back behind us, nice athletic stance, because really we're gonna feel the glutes on both sides, glutes stabilizing on the stance leg and working to move the band on the other leg. And then I'm gonna kick back and across, back and across. And my mental focus is to really do that with the glute, not as much with the adductors. If this is tricky, with the balance, we can use something like a broomstick or a PVC. And I'm just gonna use this as a balance assist. I'm gonna balance with this on the opposite side, and I'm gonna come back. And sometimes that can help to get the right muscle engagement as you're working on the balance, okay? So this is something I use often with my patients who are skaters and they need to kind of drive there. Um, we can sometimes start to get overuse of the adductors or the muscles of the inner thigh or some of the other muscles if we're not driving with our glute. Our glute is one of the biggest muscles in the body. It's our primary source of power, boom, when we're kicking back, but often it's inhibited or people don't know how to use it, so they end up using their low back or their adductor or something else. So the skater kickback can be a great drill to retrain that and get your glutes working as you're getting that leg behind you.